welcome to the Fiji Symposium 2019 here in Cairo, Egypt, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today, Mr. Bilal Jamusi, who's the Chief of Study Groups for the Standardization Bureau of the International Telecommunication Union. Bilal, welcome to the studio. Thank you very much for having me. I'd like to talk to you about this event, the Financial Inclusion Global Initiative. Uh, this, this symposium is uh, obviously a very key subject, a very important subject for the world. Why is it important to ITU? The financial inclusion is important to ITU because our um, ministers and regulators at the latest uh, plenipotentiary conference uh, decided, had a resolution on the importance of financial inclusion. So they resolved that the ITU should work on uh, enabling financial uh, services uh, to the poor using information and communication technologies. And uh, we have been embarked in, uh, in, in this journey over the past few years uh, in the form of focus groups and uh, this partnership with the World Bank and uh, CPMI of the Bank of International Settlements uh, with funding from the uh, Gates Foundation to take some of the output of the focus group and the uh, PAFI principles um, uh, to help in shaping a, a regulatory environment uh, that brings both the banking system or the financial sector and the telecom sector together. Um, the, uh, this intersection of, uh, of sectors, financial and uh, ICT, is uh, common in other sectors. We have intersection of transportation and ICT, health sector and ICT. And in all of these intersection of, uh, of areas, uh, there is an important element of bringing the uh, conversation between the regulators of both sectors to have a new enabling environment uh, and in this case, um, an enabling environment for financial inclusion and financial services. Um, the fact that there are 1.7 billion people, adults today, that do not have any access to financial services, and the same people, uh, or 1.2 billion, have a mobile phone, uh, brings a huge opportunity to uh, provide that financial inclusion um, through those mobile devices. They could be feature simple phones, or they could be more advanced smartphones. Um, and this is what our partnership is uh, doing and working on using those uh, mobile devices and uh, ICT devices to uh, bring more and more uh, reach of financial inclusion and financial services to poor people. So what are the main expectations what are the, for this uh, in symposium? So this symposium is our second symposium uh, and uh, we, uh, we have had about a year and a half of in-country implementation. Uh, Fiji is about three by three by three, so we have three partners, ITU, the World Bank, and CPMI. Uh, we have three implementation countries, Egypt, Mexico, and China. And we have three working groups, a uh, working group on electronic payment acceptance, a working group on digital identi uh, identifiers or digital ID, and a working group on security infrastructure and trust that's led by the ITU. And uh, in the course of our implementation, we've had a lot of learning uh, of, uh, of country-specific needs, uh, as well as the working groups have developed solutions in terms of securing the transactions, providing quality of service of the transaction, uh, that we will be sharing in the symposium. And uh, the idea is to really uh, continue the momentum, uh, share the knowledge, uh, provide policymakers, uh, ministers, telecom regulators, central bank, uh, governors with the tools that they can use from this experience to enable financial inclusion in their countries. And I see there's also a hackathon here as well. Right. Uh, Egypt, we're very fortunate to have a, a vibrant uh, young uh, uh, population that is focused on developing new solutions and applications uh, with, uh, with ICT. Uh, today we have 14 teams competing in the room next door. Uh, they were actually selected out of 350 uh, um, applicants and uh, they will be using a set of APIs, um, um, protocol interfaces, to uh, provide uh, financial services to the poor for very low uh, amounts of transactions at very low cost. And the idea is to make it simple so that uh, the average man or woman uh, on the street buying uh, fruit from a merchant can do that transaction instead of cash using their mobile phone. And uh, we just kicked off the hackathon. They have 24 hours to work on it. 
um, and uh, they have seven APIs, uh, application interfaces, uh, that uh, are, are available in Egypt. And uh, they will have to choose two of them at least, and then program to those uh, interfaces and then pitch their solutions tomorrow. Now, coming back to the symposium, I, I presume that the, the discussions and the conversations that happen here, of course, are, are extremely important. But in terms of outcomes, what do you hope would be the outcome from this symposium? Well, the, the outcome ideally would be uh, a set of tools and set of recommendations that policymakers can go with and uh, be able to uh, impact change in their governments and their countries, as well as the technologists to have a view of what are the key um, technologies that they can further develop and implement. Um, also, a higher level of trust in these financial transactions. Um, a key element for people to move from cash to uh, financial services. One is the access and uh, having the tools to do it, but an important factor is psychological, uh, whether I trust this device to uh, send my money or receive money. And uh, the more we show how the technology is um, secure and that the uh, user is uh, adequately identified, and authenticated and that the transactions are safe and can, can complete uh, with the adequate quality of service, uh, the more people will trust uh, in, the, in the solution and will use it. Well, we hope to uh, catch up with you again in the future, uh, but thank you very much for joining us in the studio today and uh, very best with the symposium. Thank you.